Welcome back to the Tickle Pink Events channel. Before we get on with the drink, I would like to remind you to please click the subscribe button. It's down below if you want to make sure that you never miss an upload. Also, if you want to be notified the second there's a new video, hit the bell and that's the notification button and you will get an email letting you know the moment I put up a new video. So now that we're done with all the admin stuff, let's make cocktails. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and there's a lot of stress with the food and the guest list and getting ready and prepared and you know while the focus may be on the turkey and the sides I want to keep our minds on something that's equally as important the drinks because house full of people family friends may be fun and festive or sometimes a little stressful and in order to make sure that the holiday is a little merry and bright why not have a signature cocktail to start the meal so while you're in the kitchen getting things done your guests can come in and enjoy a refreshing seasonal cocktail and what would that cocktail be you might ask well today i am making a pomegranate cosmopolitan it is fresh it's nice it's got the po pomegranate which is really in season right now and it's a nice way to kick off the thanksgiving celebrations and here's the cool part you can make it in advance and then all the guests have to do when they get there is shake it and pour it so that does not mean that you're going to have one more stressful thing to do you make this cocktail in a large batch and then you're off to the races so less talking more drinking let's start to make this cocktail it starts with a pitcher i told you it's a big batch cocktail so you're going to make all the components in here and then you can shake it up and serve it individually later so we have our pitcher now i'm so excited because i'm a baker and anytime i get to use measuring cups it gets me excited but to use measuring cups to make a cocktail woo! so excited so we have our measuring cup this is going to call for two cups of vodka don't freak out this is supposed to serve a lot of people this is not just supposed to serve one but depending on the day you have woo, <laughs> almost caught that depending on the day you have you might want to drink two cups of vodka but really this is for a lot of people so you're just going to pour up your two cups of vodka there you go whatever vodka you prefer hopefully it's good quality and you're going to pour that in just like that next we're going to add one cup of Cointreau now this is an orange citrus flavored liqueur it's going to give another note of citrusy flavor to the drink and all Cosmos usually have Cointreau or triple sec in them I like Cointreau it's a little bit you know, higher quality than triple sick and a better orange kind of flavor. So we're gonna use one cup of that. So one cup, and again, try not to freak out over the quantities. This is supposed to serve about six to eight people, if, depending on the size of your martini glass. So we got one cup of Cointreau right in there. Next up, we're gonna use cranberry juice. Now, you're gonna to wanna to use cranberry cocktail, not like concentrate cranberry juice because cocktail has sugar in it and so it's a little sweeter and it's going to add the sweetener we need to the cocktail so don't get the pure 100 percent pure cranberry juice because it's going to make your drink way too tart but if um that's what you want to do that's up to you but for balance use the cranberry cocktail the good old ocean spray so we're going to use one cup of cranberry juice right here put that in the pitcher and then next we're going to use pomegranate juice because this is a pomegranate cosmopolitan. And I love the Palm Wonderful. I love it because it comes in these little um, bottles and that way you don't have to buy a ton of it and you don't have a lot of it left over because we're only going to use a half a cup. So one little bottle will do ya. So you're going to use half a cup of Palm Wonderful right there. Pour it in for our pomegranate flavor. And then finally we're going to use, yep, that's a cap. We're going to use half a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. Be sure to squeeze the limes, it's four limes. So if you don't want to take the time to measure it, if you juice four limes, you've got half a cup and you're ready to go. So we're just gonna add that and that's gonna give our drink some acid and brighten it up and give it like a really fresh feeling because we have all these other bottled juices. So we've got everything we need. That's your Cosmo, all in one pitcher. We're gonna stir it just to combine everything. Try not to clink so much. We're just going to stir it up to make sure everything's incorporated. Now, here's the great part. You've made your cocktail. It is finished. You can put a cover over it. I suggest covering with saran wrap. This ensures that the alcohol doesn't evaporate out depending on how far in advance you're making this drink. But once your guests arrive, you put the pitcher out, you put out a shaker and some ice, 
and you tell them to shake it up and go to town and that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So I have a cocktail shaker half full of ice. I'm going to pour in our Cosmo. Now I pour in about half a shaker full and that should make two drinks. So you can have like if a couple comes over they can shake enough drinks for two of them. If you want to shake or your spouse or you want to designate a shaker for the cocktails that's cool. But the cocktails are ready made so there's no more measuring or mixing after that. So we're going to go ahead and shake our cocktail. This is going to chill it ice cold and it's going to continue to combine the ingredients. So let's shake it up. So we shake. You want to shake it really hard and really good because you really want to chill down the drink. You want to make sure everything's incorporated and we just want to make sure that it is the perfect temperature for sipping. So we've got that. Make sure we're not dripping. You get your martini glass out. Now I have one that's probably about four ounces, which is a good size. I have some that are bigger, so you know this will go less further. But this is a good serving size for your guests. That way, it's just a nice little something something without everybody being lit by dinner time. So we're just gonna pour this in. Look at that beautiful pink color. Now that is the sign of a good Cosmo. If your Cosmo comes out dark red. It doesn't have enough booze in it, in my opinion. And it's mostly juice. So you want this beautiful pink color. You want a nice little foam, little ice crystals on the top. It's going to be perfect. So let's give this a try. And I wholly think that you should make batch cocktails for any upcoming holiday event, not just Thanksgiving, but Christmas and New Year's. It will make your life easier and it'll take the stress off of the signature cocktail moment at your event. So let's give our pomegranate cocktail a try. Oh, one more thing, we have garnish. You want to garnish with a lime wedge. You can just float that up, a lime circle. There you go, it makes it pretty. I was so excited about the drink, I forgot about the garnish. But garnishes make things pretty and it's all about presentation. Now let's taste this pomegranate Cosmo. It is so smooth, really easy drinking, even for people who aren't big cocktailers. It's got a great sweet tart vibe and just a little kick of the vodka, so you're really good to go. So I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers!